Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Crystal O. And today I just want to talk a little bit about my faith journey, especially since um, I went on this mission trip three weeks ago that literally redefined and reignited my faith in Jesus. Um, so I thought it was just so important that I bring you guys in because I feel like this is a perfect time to do that. Um, being that I am most free um, in the bondage that I felt like I was in, I think this would be the most um, appropriate and helpful way um, to share about like where I've been um, for these past two years in my faith, in the high seasons and the low seasons. So uh, I'm just going to get into that and share with you all. So if you don't know, I went on a mission trip to Tijuana, Mexico three weeks ago. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I did post quite a bit on my Insta story about it because I really wanted to share with you guys and bring you guys into um, a bit of the experience, even though I didn't like record everything because like that'd be like just inappropriate. Um, I definitely wanted to like take a glimpse of like most parts that were significant to me in terms of like the worship and the breakout sessions, but definitely wasn't like comfortable recording other people that we were serving or um, just when we were praying over people so I didn't get into that but if you are interested in seeing more of that um, you can find that in my highlight section on my insta but yeah I'll just go ahead and maybe like back up this story to um, when I graduated from college because that's when like the biggest I guess shake in my faith or change in my faith happened um, so I graduated from college and I feel like I've kind of been on this fast paced like train for quite a while now um, and after I graduated from college I landed a full time job at this child abuse agency and I was working full time like first time working I guess full time so I really didn't like understand that type of work in terms of being at work from 8 to 5 every day except for weekends so um, in this period of my life I really didn't read the Bible much I really wasn't praying as much I was kind of slipping away from like you know um, where I should be as a Christian in terms of like reading and spending time with God and connecting and abiding like I was really slipping away from that true fellowship with Jesus um, that I knew I needed to like stay afloat and to stay like really connected and fresh and like in him and I did not have community so it was really really hard because I didn't really have examples or people pouring into me or people just nearby that I could like really rub off on and like them rub off on me so it was just a really weird season of my life um but I was like oh I'm fine I'm I'm still a Christian I still love God like this is totally okay so I really wasn't like there was no alarm like you need to like get help or like press into Jesus says like for real for real, this is not gonna end well you know um so anyways <coughs> excuse me anyways I still think I'm okay like I'm okay like this is fine so I eventually get um admission into Baylor University for my graduate school program and I'm just like yay I'm going to grad school now mind you this is like right after I am finishing up my full-time job and then I'm going like straight into grad school the next semester so there's no like break there's no like major break there's no like real rest so as I'm starting to get to, starting to pack up to go to grad school I'm so excited and then I start grad school and I just realized that like it's just so different like so different like people's beliefs are different everyone's just different like everyone's just so different and um, in this time as well, like I'm super busy with school, I'm super busy with so much stuff, and guess where my Bible reading and prayer life is? Sucking. Like it's pretty much like at a, a very low at this point. I still consider myself to be a Christian, of course, and I still consider myself to be like, you know, in the faith, but I wasn't just really feeling it. I wasn't fully connected to God anymore. I, did, I felt very disconnected and very lost in this period of my life. Um, and from what I was just like learning and reading about and hearing about, like I actually came to a place where I started questioning like Jesus and who he is and if I believe in him still or not. Um, so I ended up coming out of that whole by the grace of God. Um, and at that, at that time, Nika and I were still dating, so he was like very concerned about me. Um, but anyways, I ended up coming out of that hole and um, was just kind of still in a place where I was just like a mediocre Christian. Like I wasn't really like doing, like I was just like, oh, I'm a Christian. I I, I pray. Um, I love people who love Jesus. I love Jesus, but like I I I think I fell into another hole where I felt so insecure in who I was and what I knew that I refused to like really speak on a lot of stuff or just like teach or like whatever, whatever I used to do, I just stopped doing it because I was like, 
I don't feel like I'm good enough. I don't feel like God, you know, was going to use me. I don't even feel like I'm worthy to be used. Like, that's just kind of like where I was coming from. So I didn't want to like lead like other women. I didn't want to like mentor other women. I didn't want anything to do with like the responsibility of like, you know, pouring into someone. Like, I didn't want that. Um, I just felt like I wasn't worthy and I, I didn't have, I didn't have what it took in a sense. So I kind of lived in that insecurity for a while. And um, come my third year of grad school, I'm like, kind of like, I got to this place, like, yeah, like, I love God. Like, I love Jesus. Like, this is great. Um, so, you know, I, I'm still, like, praying more. I'm still, like, you know, doing my Christmas Corner stuff. And I'm loving it. I'm loving getting to share, like, other people's, like, stories about Jesus and how, like, they're you know, using their gifts for God and, like, how, you know, their life is impacted by Jesus so greatly. So I'm definitely, like, you know, still doing all of that and loving it, but then still having, like, really, really deep seasons where I'm just kind of like, God, something is missing. Like, I feel so confused. I feel so um, still insecure about like what I'm doing and who I am and who you're calling me to be. So at this point in my, you know, third semester, I was still just trying to like, you know, kind of get by. Like, I love Jesus. I love God. I love people who love God. And that was pretty much just um, good enough for me at this point. Like, I really don't have the time to devote so much time to Jesus right now. Um, and that's kind of the lie that I believed. And um, from there, I just felt like I was getting by. Um, and I love God, but I was also getting by, I felt. Um, so now I'm in my last year of my program and um, I have a lot more time on my hands in terms of like my schedule being more free. So I started mentoring other women and I started like, you know, being open to um, speaking at places and doing this. So I did feel like my insecurity um, got like my insecurity with not feeling worthy or feeling capable to serve or lead had diminished a little bit. But I feel like there was still this like huge gap in like who am I or what am I supposed to do and you know um oh well you know look at all these other people who are on Instagram like just being so influential and you know just like oh I want their kind of influence or I want to grow in this area or I want to be popular in this area and it's just like it became almost this like obsessive like desire to just grow for the sake of growing like I just want to grow in numbers I want to grow 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 and it was just almost like sickening like literally internally like how can I learn how to grow how how can I, t how to learn, how to influence people, da, 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 da. and granted, I don't think there's anything wrong with being an influencer, I don't, obviously, <laughs> I, that's the kind of where, where I'm at, I don't think anything's wrong with that, I think that it's, it's really just comes down to the heart of it, and I feel like for me, like, I desire to influence people towards Christ, towards hope, towards healing, towards just like, being inspired, period. Like, it doesn't matter what that could be through. It could be through hair, it could be through makeup, it could be through fashion, it could be through storytelling or whatever. Like, I just want to inspire people, period. Um, but I feel like at that point, it was becoming a how can I change myself to, to attract people and then, like, yeah, appeal to those people. And in that, I felt like I was losing myself. Um, I felt like I was more hungry for the affirmation and being more appealing to others than I was for truth, authenticity, vulnerability, and hungry for what God would want me to do. So I feel like on this scale of priorities, um, I had like wanting to grow, I wanted to be successful, and wanted to be a huge influencer or popular in this area, um, way above where Jesus was. And it was on this mission trip that I literally realized it. I feel like God just like slapped me in the face and was just like, what are you doing? And I realized y'all like how lost and how distracted I had gotten um, just with this like hunger and this like, oh, I want to, I want to do this. I want to be this. I want to like, you know, do this. Like it just became this like obsession, maybe even an idol almost. Um, and God like really humbled me to the point where I was like, Jesus, like, all I need is you. Like, all I really need is you. Like, I don't need the fame. I don't need the popularity. I just need you, Jesus. And I think that that's where I had to come to. Like, God literally, like, had to, like, bring me low to show me, like, I really only need him. I really only do. Um, and I do need to keep him first. It's not that, you know, wanting to influence is a bad thing. It's not that wanting to, like, you know, I guess be known for something is a bad thing. But I think that you have to have Jesus first. Because without him being first, we may even get derailed by our own desires that are not of God completely. So it's just like, 
I really like it was crazy y'all like it was so wild and I felt like I was struggling with so much fear like fear of just being who God called me to be fear of being bold in what I believe fear and being who like I am in Christ and I was so crippled by this fear I was so crippled by this desire to please others to grow um just to belong almost a really bad case of um, wanting a seat at the table like I wanted a seat at the table like oh my gosh like why don't I get invited to these events or why don't I like you know why am I not popular in this arena and it's just like who cares like build your own table invite people to your own table like there's room for everyone at my table but it's just like I was so lost like in this trance of just not what God would want me to be lost in. So basically in Tijuana during the mission trip, I would have people like coming up to me and telling me things about myself that only I would know. And I was just like, bro, I was just thinking about this. And I was just talking to God about this. Like how God don't tell you my business and then have you come tell me. But I was super encouraged because honestly it was so sobering and it helped me see like, man, God's heart is for me. And God does want to speak into my situation. Even if he's using some person that I don't know or I did not tell my business to. Like it's still impactful and it still shows that like we're a community. Like this is family. Like we are children of God and God is giving you a message for me that lines, aligns perfectly with what I'm experiencing um, so y'all the trip was just so refreshing like it's really what I needed and I don't think that it's it's a coincidence that this happened like three weeks before my birthday or four weeks before my birthday I think that God knew like I needed this like you know refreshment of my faith to go into this new age becoming and being the woman that he has called me to be um and i'm probably gonna post this on my birthday so um yeah it's gonna be just it just aligns perfectly for just the season of life that i'm going into um the season of being who god has called me to be the season of walking boldly in my calling the season of not being afraid of what people think or um being afraid to share who i am or to be who i am um and thinking that you know i'm not valuable apart from what i do but just value but just valuable only if i'm doing something yeah, like i want to proclaim jesus i want to empower people i want to share hope like that's what i want to do i want to share hope um so that's basically how the trip redefined everything for me um and i'm so thankful for you all for just being on this journey with me and just for um just being so encouraging like you guys don't understand how encouraging you guys actually are like you don't get it but um I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the love, um, just all the words you guys speak over me because there are times where I'm just like, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough. And it's like, you guys are always just like, we love your content and you're, you know, you're setting us free. And I'm just like, wow, like God is so faithful that even in my doubt and my, in my ability that you guys are still being like set free and empowered and, you know, just growing closer and closer to him. So that in and of itself is like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm crying. I've never done this on, on camera. But um, that in and of itself is like a testament to God's power, even in my like unfaithfulness to him. Like he's setting you free, even though I'm not fully walking in what he has called me to um, in those years where I was kind of like, just, I don't know, God, you know. But um, I'm so, so, so encouraged. I'm so um, empowered. I'm so ready to just share with you all and to just um, take you along on this journey with me. Um, and I just think I'm, I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm kind of scared, but hey, it's fine. Do it afraid. Do it afraid. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it afraid. Um, and I want to do it with the God and with you guys there to support me. Um, and with my amazing husband here to support me. So, um, I love you guys so much. I really, really do. Um, it's amazing where we've come from, from like zero subscribers to now. But, um, I'm so grateful for you all. And, um, I'm thankful that I'm no longer in bondage to like, you know, um, me, like literally me, the enemy's lies, um, and that every day I'm fighting, you know, for that freedom. I'm fighting because I, I, I know I am free, but I'm fighting to remain free. So, um, and I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful that, um, even when we are unfaithful, God is still faithful. Um, so I'm so glad that you guys have been rocking, um, with me since my, OG Crystal's Diary days. Um, you guys saw how on fire I was. Um, and I pray that I'll be just as on fire, but in a more mature manner uh, because I am older, of course. Um, so I'm just so thankful, y'all. And um, that's just been the journey um, 
of where I've come from. And I pray this video uh, blessed you. I pray that it's encouraged you and empowered you to maybe even to get out of your comfort zone and go on a mission trip or um, do something for God that's going to stir your faith radically. Um, so my prayer for you is just that you would you would really have an encounter with God that would refresh in your faith, that would reignite you, that would empower you, that would cause you to want to be who you are and to share Jesus with others, to share hope with others. Um, and that's what I... I, I, I'm proclaiming my new age on, like, sharing God with you, sharing hope with you, sharing love with you, um, sharing me authentically with you. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! My love is liberal, it's 24 karat gold, you learn to guarantee. You are safe and you are safe with me